Hi folks, uh, let's have a go at Seascape. It's just tipped down, right? We've got shower after shower at the moment. I was hoping to cook outside again. I just bought some, uh, uh, what are they, Teflon barbecue mats. Terrific things. But I, I cooked a breakfast from outside like yesterday. It was quite nice in the morning. And uh, I put a couple of them overlapping on my gas barbecue. And there's some eggs, bacon, toast. Oh, fabulous. But I put my, one of my eggs on. And being a little bit old egg, it, the, the white sort of overlapped <laughs> and fell off um, the, sheet, the edge of the sheet, which wasn't turned up, and into the base of the barbecue. So that wasn't very successful. I uh, just ordered some, uh, some egg moulds for that sort of cooking. So you can put an egg mould on, on the sheet, and it'll just hold the egg together. Uh, so... Uh, Second attempt because I, I filled in my Amazon order form wrong. I don't use Amazon very often because my Patreon and some sales get paid into Patreon, and that's what I use for my eBay. But, but unfortunately, of course, as you know, Amazon don't accept PayPal, which is a bit of a nuisance. But there we are. Right, so this is a bit of Fabriano 130 pound uh, practice paper, so we'll practice on it. Somebody just on YouTube just uh, sent a message, I thought oh, I was just taking up painting, will I do some more seascapes? Well, I don't do seascapes really, I do I, my idea, impression of them. And uh, I've just, uh, the seascapes I do are the knife paintings mainly, or the occasional brush painting. I just love doing those, all based on my memories of Cornwall. They don't exist in reality, but it's just my impression of of my memories of many trips to Watergate Bay and and Lands End. Oh, let's just put a bit of a sky in. So I'll, I'll do a sort of an estuary type of scene, I think, and see if we can get some sort of semblance of of a gentle sea, but not a crashing wave. I couldn't do that. Right, a bit of let's get a bit of light red. Light red is a good colour to use in a sky. I put that all over, and then we'll have a bit of blue and a bit of red. That's my cloud. Now that's all you all you need really. It's just so it's just painted the sky that's just gone over. Okay, leave it alone. Just dry it. That's that's the thing. Get it dry before it goes cauliflowery. Well, it probably will anyway. See if you overwork it, this this particular paper it all goes uh, a bit muddy. So try not to muck about with it too much. It's it's an inexpensive paper. Much cheaper than the uh, the usual the stuff I do prefer, which is ninety pound Saunders Waterford or Rough or Windsor and Newton. Okay, let's just take a little bit of uh, that stuff off the bottom. See, look, it's starting to flow down a bit there. The, with this paper, the the paint stays tends to stay on the surface because of the priming rather than sink into the paper like it does with this with the uh, the 100 percent lag papers but you know it, it, it's a it's a great paper it's a, great for painting oils on uh, oh, I thought it was uh, oil painting it's, it's dried in a bit but if I varnish that when it's really bone dry it should bring out the colours and there's another one I did on the 90 pound paper uh, that was probably primed it's, it's got a coat of uh, no it hasn't I 
why well, that's nice and shiny. Maybe I did. Maybe maybe I did prime it. That's nice and shiny. But the, the, the watercolour paper, if you get your failures, put it Paint your watercolour paper. Don't throw them away in, in anger, rage, having thrown the brushes at the wall because you made a mess of it. Save them. You, they make wonderful oil painting supports. Right, I'm going to dry that now. I think that that's settles as far as I wanted to. So. A quick dry. Yeah, there's still a piece of it. You have to be careful of that, I keep doing it, it drips off the brush, because I work very quickly. Uh, right, we'll put a bit of a headland in, in the distance, so we'll have sky colours, and Those sorts of rocks there. I'll go over that when that's dry. But let's put a bit of bit of sea in then. Uh, so we want darker or lighter than that. I think uh, darker. So mix a little bit of ochre with the blue. And you're you, very rare in, in English uh, seasides where the. Um, The water is actually blue. Now just leave some bits of of uh, sparkle, and then a bit of a. Uh, sand there, bit of umber, burnt umber, that's a good sand colour, which is strange. Right okay that'll do, now we want a bit of foreground, so enjoy that. I haven't got a clue what I'm doing, I'm making it up as I'm going along. I need to do a bit more in there now because we want another sort of a, a cliff coming in. So warm a bit of green on the top of it. So for that green we'll have a bit of paint grey. My paint grey is a little bit soft where I squeeze it out of the tube. And a bit of, bit of burnt sienna. There's some dark in there. Okay. Just a bit of greeny, seaweedy stuff. 
Right now what we want to do now is get a card, this card, and just lift out some rocks. Okay. So there's your there's your rocks, look at that. Now we want some some grasses, like some now what should we use for what we use that hike? I'll use an I'll use uh, we'll see if you use using that one. Yeah, that one. Some grasses, but we want we to do that we want we want to put some sandy colour in. So we've got that uh, nice uh, burnt umber, which is a good sand colour, so we'll make it a bit darker. Whoops. And we've got a bit of bit of darker in there. Dry that. No, we'll just use that little brush here, just put a bit of water on it. And we want nice dark greens. Marsh grass, look. Just green, dark, a bit of paint grey. Now don't waste a lot of money on, on these sort of brushes. This cost probably about 50p. It was in a pack of uh, a pack of um, cheapo brushes. I don't know. Okay, well. I might put some trees on there. Back to my large hake. Get the water out of it. Look, the, the, more or less, the paper has stayed flat, and that. Look, just put it tight. It's very tough. It's a third, about thirty percent rag, and the rest is cellulose. So let's get a bit of texture in in there. I've always got a cloth by my water pot to take out the excess moisture. Like this. Like that. Spitting a little bit there. I'll squeeze out. Payne's grey and cad yellow pale makes a great dark green. Uh, just a little bit of a relief there and some bit of darker green. All right, where's my card? Digging it in the paint. Paint's all soft because I, I keep it in a. In a uh, bag, a, a Ziploc bag, with a bit of wet toweling in. I think I like um, the the two. Uh, raggedy so let's just change them okay that'll do so, so there's a seascape we'll put a couple of birds in where the uh, the splashes are a bit of paint's grey oh, one there
So how to disguise that? Let's have some up here. We don't need that, really. not with that, that little brush. See that little brush has created that impression of marum grass. That's the only grass I know on the coast. Uh, um, could put a couple of little figures on the beach here. Uh, let's have a look, see where it gets through. So, uh, I could No, I won't, I won't, I won't do that. I'll do a blue. Blue. Look very careful if I... I don't really think that needs anything. It's a very, very simple demonstration for Ray. Demo for Ray. I'll put it in a mount, we'll have a look at it. Before I go, go ahead and, and ruin it. It's okay. It's, not one of the best, but no sooner said than done. I'll, I'll sign it, I'll give it a signature. So I must prefer to do these in oil, but without the grasses, there's not too many sand dunes in Cornwall. Mostly very rocky, very cliffy. I'll just lift the camera up. Mm -hmm. Now the sun's come out, so maybe I can go and do me a bit of cooking. Oh, well, there we are, there's, there's a little coastal scene. Uh, If you get it wrong, you can always use a bit of gouache, white gouache, but, but white gouache does tend to st stand out a mile. Better if you can paint without using it. I use it for tiny sails and... Oh well, there we are, having said that, let's, see, let's use it for a sail or two. Oh, I dropped on the floor. Ah, oh, clip. Got a bit of gouache here hanging about. My mate Alan Owen, who I know a lot of you follow him, is not very well at the moment. So if he doesn't post much, it's because he's seeing double. They show up a bit. I'm putting them against the darker background. That'll probably dry into the into the slightly damp paper. You can use a bit of acrylic to do that. Okay. We'll let that go. That's it. That's the demo. And then it's 12 o'clock. I'll go think, see what the sky's doing. I'm determined to have a cook outside. But if not, it should be okay by the late afternoon, so I might cook tonight. Uh, I don't know why I'm telling you all that. But it fills in, doesn't it? Right, well there we are. I hope you enjoyed that one. Thanks for looking in. Bye bye.